the beauty of things is something which you find back in his private life, in his private investments, but also in all our real estate projects. We want to make something beautiful, something that works, where people like to work, live, because we pay so much attention to making it uh, fun to be. There's always saying that he is not building or making constructions, that he is making uh, experiences. Does we started with two people from zero. It started uh, beginning of the 80s with Mr. Geisens being active in the gardening and more agri-related real estate sector, uh, 85 in fact. He created another company which uh, started construction and investment in real estate in all segments. And in the beginning of the 90s, 91, a trip to Poland to see how business between Belgium and Poland could improve. 12 months after the first building was under construction, which was 4,000 square meters on Banaha called Greenhouse, which was opened by the later king of uh, Belgium. And this is uh, how it all started. Inwestował tutaj nad Wisą, zanim jeszcze Polska weszła w struktury unijne. Nim w ogóle stało się to realne i oczywiste, jak nam się to wydaje dziś. Można tylko pogratulować biznesowych umiejętności. Three milestones were very important in the growth of the company. The first one, of course, the decision to further invest into the Polish market. A second milestone was the feeling Mr. Geisens had just before the financial crisis in 2008. He felt that there was an overheating in the financial and real estate markets uh, coming on. And he immediately decided to um, dispose large projects which we had in portfolio. Third milestone, I would say, was uh, then more Belgian related. The grand opening of the Gilanko Arena here. The stadium became a landmark really for the city for the region, but more than that, uh, I think it's giving the people of the city and the people of around the city, uh, is giving the people a lot of pride. They changed the horizon line. Warsaw Spire is a fantastic building. Courage to go ahead with uh, non-standard projects, and Warsaw Spire is a perfect example. They did have the courage a couple of years ago, to undertake a project, office project of a scale that beforehand no one has done. You can easily grow from a smaller company to a bigger company as long as you strive and rejuvenate your goals. And if we look at Gelamco now in comparison with the beginning of the 90s, a lot of other values were added to our goals, our targets, high quality, innovation, etc. But it remains a family-owned business and it means that this brings you also a family attitude. So more openness, open communication, a pleasant and warm atmosphere to work in. His grandfather was a big example for him. So that's typically my husband. And he is so creative and he is so proud of, his, of himself and his family. The whole co company, he looks always for solutions and he finds his solutions because for him it's energy. Accountability, a team spirit and pursuit for perfection, which is quite important for my dad as well. Once he's committed to doing something, He's going full ahead. Yeah, once the machine is running, you can't stop. Respect for everybody. I see him as a great friend. He is bringing suddenly some, some solutions where you see a new way uh, to get out of a problem. So sometimes a little bit like a genius. When he does something, it has to be perfect. For an ambassador of Belgium, this is like having a, an extremely good player in your team. You can build on this player. You can also uh, improve the quality of your representation uh, thanks to him. The thing is that Mr. Heysens uh, has a real vision and wants to realize his vision. Many times uh, other people are not yet ready for his vision. As a person in global, I would describe him as a, a warm, very open and natural optimist. Business-wise, I would call him a creative visionary of a visionary creator, whatever you want, but always striving for excellence. That człowiek is zdolny do 
nieprawdopodobnego rozmachu, a przy tym ogromnej otwartości. Bo jakże inaczej mógłbym określić kogoś, kto wybudował w stolicy Polski gigantyczny biurowiec Warsaw Spire, a na którym z odległości wielu kilometrów widać napis Kocham Warszawę. It's a very strong personality. It's not always an easy, but it's a very reliable uh, discussion partner. He has fantastic vision, very good family man, perfect family man. I think from an early age, I think uh, our father taught us that um, effort and reward comes together. He is a man, he wants to make his stamp on earth.